pepper. So before I get to cooking, I'm going to um, make me some spinach dip. This is the TGI Friday brand. Um, it's spinach and artichoke dip, and it's real easy to make. It's frozen. So I just need to put it in the microwave. I can never remember the instructions. It says, cook on high for three minutes, pull back film, stir, and cook on high for two minutes. So let me put it in the microwave for three minutes. While we're waiting on that, we can get to, um, we can at least put the turkey next. We can at, at least put the turkey neck on. This stuff is clean. And I'm gonna use this pot to cook the beans. So I'm gonna take some Cajun turkey necks and I'm gonna start cooking them. And the way I cook these is they're gonna boil till they're almost falling off the bone. But the first couple of times I cook them, I cook them and I pour the water off because I don't like all the fat and, um, not fat, all the sodium and stuff. That could be in meat um, as you're cooking. So I'm just gonna cover them in water and put them on the stove and just let them boil for a while. All right, we're gonna put those on high and let them get to going. And for now, that's all we can really do with um, the turkey necks. So let's go and do something. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and start cutting up the um, bell peppers. I'm gonna pull you back so you can see me. Before I cut them, I'm gonna wash them off. Make sure they're clean. Some of them are soft, especially the two that I got in the veggie box. So those are the ones that are going in the freezer. And I also got some colored bell peppers that I'm gonna cut up as well. So. See all of that? That's sodium. That's salt floating around in that water. And a lot of times we cook with that, right? We think it's the flavor. But my husband has a real sensitive stomach and he can't handle all that sodium. So I like to boil mine all. And I lose a lot of the peppers in it but it's okay because it still has the flavor and that's what we want. Let flavor. me show you my nachos. I should have made them on video, but it's chips. I melted shredded cheese over the chips and then I put salsa and the spinach dip on top and it's so good, y'all. Mmm. I'm gonna take a quick break. This is good. The cheese, 
and the salsa, and then the spinach dip. Such a good snack. This we've really had this as a meal. Ground some turkey. Put the cheese, salsa, and spinach chip and the turkey on it. So good. All right. Let me take a quick. I'm going to take a quick break to eat because I haven't eaten all day. And then I'll be back in a minute, okay? All right. <clears throat> Finished with my snack. And, uh... get the turkey next. Can you see all of that? That gunk? Yeah, that's not what you want. So we're going to pour that off again. One thing I didn't say that I actually did on camera, but I didn't say was that I always rinse the pot. And I also rinse the meat. All right, I got all of the bell pepper cut. Um, sorry, I was on the phone, so I didn't do it on video. But I'm going to go ahead and clean, clean this chicken. I'm gonna get the chicken going. I'm gonna get the cornbread going. And I'm probably gonna stop talking so you guys can, so I can focus and you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna get the chicken clean. put the rest in the freezer and then we'll do some onion <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna cut up onion for the freezer I think I'm just gonna cut it as I need it because it lasts a whole lot longer
Then we'll clean up the kitchen and get ready for the next thing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and make the cornbread. I've made this before. You can see it on other videos. So if I go too fast, um, you either have to look at it again or know that I have a video about how to make homemade cornbread, but it's real simple. Um, and you don't need a lot of ingredients. And it's one of the only things I could probably tell you the exact measurements because these measurements work perfect for, perfectly for me every time. And it was taught to me this way. So you use two cups of meal and honestly, it doesn't matter. It can be white meal, yellow meal, mixed meal, whatever kind of meals. Just make sure it's self-rising. I use two cups of meal. I put in one large egg. And then I put in a cup of milk. Now, this is buttermilk and I'm mixing it. I use one cup of uh, milk, one and a third cup. So with this, this is a third cup of buttermilk and a cup of milk. and his biscuits and his cornbread. So we're gonna mix that. Really well. And once I, once I get it almost where I want it, I'm gonna add the oil. So you, as you saw, I added quite a bit of oil to that pan and that's because I like oil in my cornbread. So that's a quarter cup of oil. And that's what's gonna make it moist. And you can see the difference. When you do it, you'll see the difference in the mixture after you add the oil. You can tell it's gonna be moist. That's some good eating right there, y'all. So now that you got it all mixed up, you just need to add it to your already heated pan. I'm letting it drip as much as it can because I didn't bring anything to scoop it with. Get all that mixture in there. And then this is going to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So I like to put my timer on and set it for 25 because that normally gets it nice and brown. 25 minutes and 400 is perfect. It's quite all right for 25 minutes. they're cooking good I'm gonna go ahead it's just a little bit of water I don't know if you can even see it in there let's go ahead and add some beef broth we're 
we're gonna put in some beef broth and um, let them cook down one more time with the beef broth. Speckle beans to them. And because they're the frozen beans versus the dry beans, they won't cook that long. They won't have to cook that long. All right. So this was about three-fourths full. I put all of it in there. And uh, we're going to let it do what it do. All right, we got just a couple of seconds until the cornbread comes out the oven. So I wanted to be sure that I turned um, the camera back on so you could see it. As you can hear, the cornbread is finished. So let's go see what she looked like. Shouldn't have to brown the top, but we'll see. Oh, that looks so good. That looks good, y'all. I always go the wrong way. It looks so good. I'm going to get some butter and put on it. And I think I will stick it back in for... Maybe, maybe five minutes. I ended up taking it off a of bake and putting it on broil. And from on broil, I gave it two minutes, so I'm just gonna take a peek. It's been a, it's got a minute left, but it's browning really nicely now, the way I like it. So in about one minute, we'll take it out, but I'm gonna keep checking it because it can boil pretty quick, and we don't want to burn it because this cornbread is gonna be delicious, y'all. We don't want to have to start over because my husband gonna have to have cornbread with his speckled butter beans. Okay. Once the cornbread comes out too, I'll put it back on bake and 400 and let the ch chicken finish. And then we'll go ahead and add the beans to the smoked turkey. And um, when it's almost done, then we'll add the okra. And if you don't want okra, you don't have to use okra. You don't even have to use these type of beans. There are lots of beans that you can use to cook and cook it the same way. Black eyed peas, regular lima beans, big butter beans. Uh, bill peas, kidney beans, whatever kind of beans you like. String beans could be cooked with smoked turkey. It's really up to you. So just remember that this isn't, this recipe can go for a lot of different things. All right, two seconds. And I think, I think it's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So I'll put the oven back on 400. We'll check the chicken in a little bit, but this is what the cornbread looks like. So I ended up transferring the beans to a bigger pot and adding a little more water, let those cook. And then I took the foil off of the chicken. It's still on 400, but I probably let it cook another 10 or 15 minutes. So that's where we're at. Everything is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole bag of okra to the beans because they're cooking pretty good and 
it won't take them long because they're frozen and not fresh. So I'm just gonna pour the whole bag of okra in, give it a stir to get it down in the juice, put the top back on. Chicken's cooking. We're doing pretty good, y'all. We'll be able to sit down in a minute and not have to get back up. So, I'll see you when it's done or if something big happens. <laughs> see you in a minute.